Hi everyone, welcome back to the Lexi Hair Channel. My name is East Deanna, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to get beautiful defined curls and waves without using hot tools. So it's summertime, it's really hot, and the last thing I wanna do is curl my hair with something really hot. And heatless curls are awesome for protecting your hair against damage. So if you've got naturally straight or slightly wavy hair, but you would like to get more of a defined, beautiful wave or curl, keep on watching because we are going to walk through a couple ways on how to get the look no heat. Okay, so the first technique, you may have heard about it on Pinterest or TikTok, and that's the scarf or socks method. So you'll get better waves if your hair is damp after a shower, or just spritz it to wet it a little bit like I'm doing here. And I'm gonna take a satin scarf, you could use any scarf really, but silk or satin keeps your hair really soft and shiny. I'm splitting my hair on one side into two sections, and I'm going to twist the first section around the scarf, and then just add the second section into the twist, and together twist everything around the scarf all the way down. Once the twist is complete, secure it with an elastic. Then I'm gonna repeat the twist on the other side. Again, split into two sections, twist the first around the scarf, and then add the second section into the twist, together twisting all of your hair around the scarf to the bottom. To keep the twist secure all night, I'm going to twist the twist around itself to create a cinnamon bun twist, basically, and secure it with a soft fabric scrunchie to avoid any harsh lines or weird kinks. And I'm just gonna go to bed like this and let my sleep do all the magic. Voila! When you wake up and gently remove the scarf and elastics, you should end up with smooth, beautiful waves like this. I just brushed them and added a little bit of hair oil to seal the deal. Just showing you the same technique using socks instead of a scarf, if that's what you have on hand. Clip the socks to the sides of your head and use the same twisting technique around the socks. Secure with an elastic and create a cinnamon swirl with a fabric scrunchie. And then you can remove the clips to go to bed and everything should stay put overnight. The second method requires a stretchy headband like this. My hair is damp here, not sopping wet, but wet enough to create some good curls overnight again. Section your hair off by clipping two thirds of your hair out of the way and take the remaining sections and twist it around the back of your headband. You can secure this so it doesn't unravel with a bobby pin. Then take down a second section and repeat this process, wrapping the section around your headband and securing again. Do this with the last section. I wrap each section separately to avoid a tangled mess. It's hard if you keep all your hair down at once. Your hair should now look something like this, and again, all you have to do is go to bed. Here are my curls the next morning. Notice they are a bit more beachy, messy, and textured. The swirls are a little bit smaller and tighter too. The third method is if you wanna get heatless curls but you don't wanna wait an entire night till the next day to get them. Dampen your hair a bit with a spray and grab a one inch section, brush it out so no tangles, and I'm gonna use a Velcro roll to roll up my hair just like this. Using a hair clip like this or an extra large bobby pin, secure the roll to your head. Then I'm gonna repeat this all around my head by rolling up one inch sections with my Velcro rollers. Thank you. 
Once all your rollers are in, seal them with a hairspray and keep them in for one to two hours. Obviously the longer, the more defined your curls will get. After you remove the rollers and brush your hair out, you'll have really gentle, subtle, smooth waves like this. This method is really nice if you want a super loose wave rather than a more defined and curly look. So depending on the time you have, here are three different ways and what they can look like. Okay, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. And I would also love to know down below in the comments if you prefer wearing your hair straight or wavy slash curly. Would love to know. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the Lexi Hair channel for more video content as always, and we'll see you guys next one. Thank you.